Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to uh, the video. In this one, we are going to fix hair. Now, a lot of times in Affinity Photo, if you isolate a subject or an object, if you have a really bright background in an example like this, sometimes the color will bleed through. So if you look here, I've isolated this model. But because the color is so intense and there's a lot going on with this hair here, you can see that the color has bled through, which isn't good. We don't like that. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now, in this first example, I've already isolated the subject. If you're not sure how to isolate objects in Affinity Photo, uh, I'm going to do one in the next example, but I'm going to link my selection brush video down below. That is the best way you're going to learn how to do it really precisely. Uh, go check it out. It's uh, not only one of the highest rated and viewed videos on YouTube, it'll also uh, fix, your, fix your skin. Uh, it'll help your skin. It'll glow. That's what I heard. Someone said it. I think it was on maybe one of my videos or someone else's video. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So I got this model. It's isolated. And now we need to fix this hair. So the first thing we are going to do is go over to our layers panel. And we're going to go over here to add a new pixel layer. So I'm going to click on that. My pixel layer is going to appear at the top of my layer stack. And what I want to do is click on this pixel layer and drag it on top of the isolated model here. So this model here. And now you can see it's now a parent to the child layer of this model. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to use a paintbrush to fix this. And where I'm painting, I only want it to affect the model. So now I basically clipped in this uh, pixel layer inside of this model. So any painting I do, so if I grab a paintbrush right now and I start painting in whatever color, let me grab one you can see. It's only going to paint inside this model, so it won't affect anything outside if we had a background or any anything else uh, on this photo. So here's what we're going to do. So now that I have a pixel layer, I'm going to erase everything off it. Let me redo this here. Okay, so now that I have a pixel layer um, attached to this model, what we're going to do is sample colors around the hair and fix it. And here's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to zoom into the hair over here on the left-hand side, and the brush I'm using is just a it's a, a light brush so usually like a soft brush you want to grab one of those not a hard one like uh, these ones at the top here i would just grab a soft round brush like this um and right now my opacity is 100 percent, but my flow is 25 and my hardness is at zero so because i am on a mac the way you're going to sample colors really quickly is by hitting the option key so i want you to look in the top right corner up here where the color is now if i go to if I hold Option down on my keyboard, and that's Alt on a PC, so I'm on a Mac, so I'm holding Option. Again, if you're on a PC, you'll hold Alt. Hold it down and click. If you look in the top right corner, as I'm clicking, it's now sampled white because I picked the background. If I go over here and part, click on this part of the hair, it's going to change it to what it thinks that color uh, the hair is. If I go over here to the blue part, you're going to see it change the blue because I'm sampling colors. So what we're going to do is sample colors close to the hair that we want to change the color to, and we're just going to paint over top of that. Now, here's the important part. In our layers panel here, under with this pixel layer selected, our blend mode up here is set to normal. What we're going to do is we're going to change that to color. So make sure your blend mode is changed to color on the layer you're painting on. So I now have this pixel layer and the blend mode is set to color. I got my brush out. You can hit B on your keyboard to pull up your paintbrush. And we are going to zoom into the hair here. And what I'm going to do, again, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and you can make your brush bigger and smaller by using the width slider at the top left or you can use the bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it go smaller and the right bracket key makes it go bigger. Okay, so I'm on a Mac so I'm going to hit option click to select a color of the hair here. If you're on a PC, it's alt click and now I'm just going to start painting around the hair. And I'm going to do this uh, quick or quicker, but I'm going to show you. So again, I'm going to go over here and here the hair is a bit darker. So I'm going to, again, hit option, click, alt click on a PC. And I'm going to paint this hair here. And I'm just going to go around. I'll zoom out here. And I'll just go around and I will sample pieces of the hair by alt or option clicking and just painting these parts in. This one's a little bit darker. I'm going to paint that over here, fix this one over here. Uh, and I'll just go, say, me over here, over here. And I'll just paint this away here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go around and do this. I'm going to speed up this video. But basically, all I'm doing is going around and sampling colors really close to the hair. So over here, I would grab here. And over in this darker part, I'll grab this part and paint over here like this. So I'll go through and do this really quickly. Or I'll, I'll speed it up so you can see it. And we'll get the end result. But that is how you're going to do it. Uh, so let me just go ahead and do that. And I will be right back. Alright, 
So uh, here's just a quick version. I did this pretty quickly, but um, here's what it looked like uh, before and here's what it looks like after. So you can definitely make it look a lot more natural. You do have to go around and just sample particular parts of the hair because obviously the hair uh, is different. Like it's there's different shades of brown in, in this particular model's hair, but that's basically how you do it. I'll show you another quick example uh, right here. Um, so we got this girl here and I'm gonna isolate her really quick and you can already see, if I zoom in, you can see the color of the background probably because the lighting is coming through on her hair. So uh, let's isolate her really quick. And what I'm gonna do is use the selection brush tool, which is right up here. Uh, in the top left, it's W on your keyboard. I'm going to flip to the selection brush tool. My mouse is going to change to a uh, circle here to allow me to start the selection. And I'm just going to start painting over top of this model and the marching ants are starting. Again, if you don't know how to do selections, um, go check out my video. I'm linking below. It'll explain everything you need to know. There's different ways to select things. Um, this is one of the best ways. Um, it's not um, for everything, but it's for a lot. So I'm just going to quickly isolate this model here. I'll go in here and get rid of some of this. This won't be perfect selection because that's not what this video is about, but uh, let's just see how that does. We're gonna go up to the top and hit refine here so we can refine this. And we'll grab the selection brush tool, refine tool, and we'll just go around the hair just so it takes another look at the hair to fix it as best it can. And we'll do this here. And I'm really not worried about the rest of her at the moment because well, I'm not using this for anything but this YouTube video. Okay, so I got her selected. Let's go um, to our refine selection. And every time you do this, I would recommend you on your output, you always select new layer because it will try to um, differentiate the background color from the model. It'll it'll do like a color de decontamination. I always say that wrong. It'll do that to try and pull the colors away as best as possible. So I'm selecting new layer, hitting apply. <coughs> hmm. All right, so. Uh, now our model is now been isolated here. And again, I'll show you by um, putting a background on here how this actually looks. I'll use a different color. I'm just gonna grab a rectangle, I'll make it yellow, pull it underneath her. And you can see in the back of her hair here, she has that tinge. It's not terrible, but she has this, you know, bluey sort of tinge coming out of her hair. So here's how we'll fix that again. So um, what I'm gonna do again is go to my layers panel and I'm gonna pick a new pixel layer right here. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna pull the pixel layer on top of the model because that's the um, that's where I wanna paint. So I've got my pixel layer inside of the model layer here. And now I'm gonna grab my paintbrush by hitting B. And now with our pixel layer selected, make sure we change our blend mode from normal down to color. And I'm just gonna go over to her hair here and let's go somewhere very close to where her hair would be. So we'll paint over here. So I'm gonna grab this color right here. Again, I'm gonna hit, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna hit Option, click on a uh, PC, sorry, you'll hit Alt, click. And you can see when I do that, again, I'll change the sample here. In the top right corner here, you, it'll show you what color that you are sampling. So I'm gonna go close to her hair. I'm gonna pick this, that looks good to me and I'm just gonna paint over top of her hair here just to make it a little bit better. We'll paint over here to make sure that goes. Just a little touch up here just to help the hair. I'm gonna resample that actually a little bit here and then change it for the inside because it looks like the color changes a bit. And I'll sample here a little bit just to fix that and maybe there as well. And then any part of her hair that looks a bit weird at the top, I'm gonna sample up here, paint over top on top here. I'll sample here. Again, it's, it's pretty strong over here, so we'll go to somewhere where it's not bluey and bluey <laughs> and start painting. And, you know, if you do start painting on her skin, it will show, so you have to be careful where you're painting on the hair in particular. But uh, quick example, so not super worried about it. So let's paint all that away, make sure she looks good. There's some blue in there. Let's get rid of that, actually. Let's get rid of that. we we'll use this here. Paint that away, make that look a little more natural. I'm going a bit crazy here, but that's okay. I'm gonna sample over here to paint this part. And we'll just do that for now, that's okay. So um, again, so here is the before, or here's the after, I'm sorry, and here's the before. I'll put again something behind it so you can really see that. Let's grab this yellow rectangle here and I'll drag that underneath. Maybe I'll make it uh, a dark color so you can see this better. Darker color, maybe we'll do like a gray. 
So this is with the after fix, and obviously you could do her bracelet and her arm. I'm just showing you the hair really quickly here. So that's after, and this is before. So you can really see that change um, in the tinge in the hair before and after. So that, that's it. That's really the, the fix. Uh, if you have an issue like that, what you're gonna do after you isolate the model is you are gonna create a new pixel layer over here. You're gonna pull that pixel layer uh, in as a child layer to the, um, the, the layer you're having an issue with. You're gonna change the blend mode from normal to uh, color. You're gonna sample colors uh, with a soft paintbrush and just paint in the fix. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you, have, you like the video, you can just tap, tap, tap that like button. I appreciate you watching. If you've never seen my stuff before and you found this helpful, I want you to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.